Now to the pitch, the advertising equivalent of WrestleMania, in which two competing agencies take the ultimate challenge of selling the unsellable. The winner receives bragging rights in this expensively plastic Gruen trophy. This week we've made it easy. We've asked them to come up with an ad that'll convince ordinary Australians that living near a nuclear reactor would be a bloody good thing. Can they do it? Let's find out. Please welcome from McCann Erickson, Melbourne, Vince McSweeney. And from Market Force in Perth, Andrew Tinney. Hello. All right, Vince, you're up first. What was the key to getting it right? Uh, well, we came up with a number of ideas and uh, we had ads around three-breasted women and mm, super-powered tomatoes, etc. But um, in the end, we decided to go with the direction that we felt was very a, a very real reason to stay as close to nuclear reactors as possible. Well, let's uh, have a look at what you came up with. Nuclear power plants, clean, safe, efficient. And here at Australian Nuclear Energy, we believe they make a great addition to any neighbourhood. The nuclear waste, however, <laughs> that shit will kill you. And that's why we get it the hell away from us. The further, the better. National parks, oceans, other wastelands. So long as it ends up where we're not. OK, sure, we may not be the nicest neighbours you'll ever have, but we guarantee we'll never take a dump on your doorstep. Nuclear power. Live by it. Seriously. Like, right next to it. Good job. All right, tough competition, I reckon, Andrew. How did you solve the problem? Um, so, like, we thought, rather than just jump straight into making an ad, we'd actually look at redesigning the product first and then go out and make an ad based on trying to do something that would actually change the product, make it less intimidating, I guess, and get over some of those barriers and make it more appealing to the Australian masses. Well, let's have a look at how you went. Australia's love affair with the big thing started in 64 with the big banana. And now, thanks to the champs at Aussie Reactors, every town can have one. Put your town on the map with the kiloton koalas. The barium barra. Nuclear Ned. The plutonium prawns. The gamma ray gumboots. And for you lot up in Nimbin, the Atomic Bong. So come on, Australia. Stick a big steam and landmark in your town. Aussie reactors. Australians give them two thumbs up. Good job. Uh, panel, what did we think, Russell? Well, I have to say I love the idea. Whenever you have a problem product to sell, first thing you should do is just repackage it and then flog it. I think that was fantastic. So market force, brilliant. OK, Jane, what did you think, mate? I thought they were both really nice and I love the end line right next to it. It was really good. But I'm, I'm with you. I love the idea of repackaging those Twin Towers. Uh, OK, what do you reckon, Dan? I didn't hear anything after Three-Breasted Women. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but, look, I, I love the idea of shipping our, our toxic waste back to the United States. Um, but I know I have to go for two thumbs up as well. And uh, finally, Todd? I'm the dissenting vote then. I, I thought the second one was, was funny, it was really funny, but I actually thought the first one's clever because the notion that it's okay to have the thing next to you, it's the waste you've got to worry about, could actually work. <laughs> well, it was close, but I think we have a winner this week. Congratulations. Thank you, Cheers. Thank you very much for that. That was quite a price. Thank you. Cheers, mate. That's how the panel scored it, but tell us which ad you think will be more effective at our website, abc.net.au slash